white cross enough is enough this is a CVT guitar lesson for Jason this is in flat tuning and uh, Rexosaurus man what can I say I remember back in the in the 80s you know I was listening to Vi and Dweezil Zappa and such and Matthias and Oz and Rex always liked his playing man a mix of uh, a lot of my my players, you know, Warren Martini and Lynch and all that stuff. So you said to go ahead and grossify the outro solo. So I took some of the stuff that Rex did, um, some tasty stuff in there. I added some of my own stuff, and um, I got that uh, solo one, and then I've got the the main solo as well for you. So this is a you know, I think the first song I heard from White Cross. So uh, good stuff, man. So. Well, coming in section one, um, you have this. Ah. Very catchy. It's groove. It's in the pocket, and um, it's a E major. You're going seven A, ninth fret. I just bar that D, G, and B. Third finger is how I'm doing it. So you're going to hit those. Everything except the E string. Let it ring and then slide. Okay. Bar the 12th fret D, G, and B. You're going to strum those th uh, two times and then add the middle to third or 13B. Do that two times. And then 12th fret G and B vibrato. Hold on. Yeah, we're good. Um, then you're going to go barred 7th fret D, G, and B, but we're going to um, start off at the middle finger to 8 on the B as well. We're going to strum those, quick rest, lift the middle finger off, so that's just our uh, D major triad there. Two times, so it's 7, 7, 7, hey, 7, 7, 7, yeah. You'll go, so we have... And then twice on the sevens, twice with the middle finger back down on the eights. And then seven GB rest. So we have. And then palm mute three A. It's just a, a root five power chord. Uh, you know, palm mute the three and then not the five D. Then we're going to go palm muted 5A, middle finger, with a 4D. And then 3A, and pinch harmonic 5D. You'll see double dots, um, so you're going to go back through. Um, there's a little, little difference here in the middle, so you're back to... Um, it says four times, fourth time, no star. In place of that, you'll go three times. So, and then a three E. So it's three five A D rest to two five. I call this the flatted power chord. And then an open A. Uh, and you'll do that three times. To the three E, and then we're gonna hit a C five power chord with the octave in it. So third fret A, fifth fret D and G, and then move it up a whole step, sharp to a D major five seven seven. So okay, then section two, um, thirty three seconds in. Oh, and I told you, Jason, um, you know. One of my first bands I was in, you know, I first started playing guitar. I liked this song so much that uh, we kind of wrote a song off of it, you know. Uh, basically, us metalheads, we call it stealing, right? And then we make our do our own thing with it. But here's what it was, Jason. It's so close, man. It's just a rip. And you know, I was about 14 years old, so it goes. This was my old band, Antioch. <laughs> Bump, bump, 
Anyways, it just took me back. And it's funny because we did the Striper CBT the other day um, from Wrong to Right. That was one of my first Striper songs I heard. So, um, this part's cool. It's got a good groove. 33 seconds in, 7A, 9th fret D and G. And um, you're going to hit that, let it ring, and then palm mute string 6 open three times. 10A, pinch harmonic bend. Then do the same thing, but we're going to switch to a D chord. 5A, 7, D, and G. And rest, followed by three open E's palm muted. Still do the pinch on 10A. 4A, 7, D, same thing. Followed by three open E's palm muted. It's got a little vibrato on that. And then 4, 7, to 3, 5. So we'll go. 3 5, uh, 2 5, to open A. So, um, 3 5 5 A D G, um, and then 5 7 7. So, okay, double dots there. So, Two times, second time, no star. That's the C and the D that I just played. So you'll end up doing this a second time. And this is a, a key part of the song. The outro actually plays this as he's soloing over it, and that's where we, we grossified the outro a little bit. Um, so if you're going second time through, no star. That's right again. You'll end up going. Okay, so you end up going three times um, on this part. Okay, followed with three E, a C power chord to a D power chord, and then seven A nine D. I put that in parentheses. It's the downbeat of the solo, the first solo. <clears throat> so if you're trying to play along with this, you may want to cut that out because you don't want to miss a solo. 15 high E, it's a two-step bend. That's four frets. Okay, so you're bending a G to a B. And I don't want to bust the string, but you're going up to... And then um, 15 vibrato. Then we're going to go... Sorry, dude. No, that's right. It's on the high E. I was saying, I thought I said B. 12, hammer 15, pull 12, hammer 14, pull 12. So that's a good subgroup, right? Just to work on for a linear thing. 15, 12, B, E, down, up. That can be a good subgroup. Kind of like the Dave Murray thing, right? 15, pull 12 on the B. And then play all that. Or you can split it, make it two riffs, and then 14G to 15B down up vibrato. 12 on the B, pick, hammer 15, pull 12, hammer 17, pull 12, it's this. Lower the thumb so you can get a, a stretch. Right, so. And then you're going to love this. You're going to... Tap the 17B, pull to 11, so it'll go. You got Eddie Van Halen style thing, so 711, and then 7, or 1711, 1710, and the 17s are taps. Then check this out. We gotta jump over to 8B, we're gonna tap the 17 again, and you know, use the, the meat, the flesh of your palm up here to, to deaden the other strings. So um, we have. And then you're going to tap the 17, pull off to 8, hammer 10, 12, so it's, and then tap 14, so it's, pull that off to 12, tap 15, pull that off to 12. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
so we have I see what I did I made a mistake in your tabs so when you're tapping you're going um, 8 10 12 right this, starting with the tap you have tapping 14 pull 12 tap 15 pull 12 I'd put a, um, a 14 instead of a 12 so that's a 12 the very last notation on the bottom of page 2 in your tabs all right and then um, yeah it's just a really cool tapping that uh, technique Rex is using so we have And then pull 12, 10, 8. So we have. So we have. And you need a little bit of a jump, but you gotta make it this way. Uh, third finger just dropping onto 9G. So it's really a hammer on, even though we're switching strings. And what you wanna do here, if I can find my spot. So you're hammering the 9 there, tap 12, pull 9, pull 7. So you went off from the... And then hammer 9D out of nowhere. And then tap 12, pull 10, or pull 9, 7, slide to 5. So it's... And you could subgroup that, you know? Oh my bad, hold on. Wrong. Once you get to the 5D, yeah, yeah, we're right. We're right. That's also on the downbeat, Jason, so um because you're gonna cut back in go into section one. So back into series of repeats really um, the next new part would be the main solo which is kill he starts with a pick scrape coming in and uh, there's a different rhythm behind this you're gonna go 19 on the B string you're gonna go bend release bend hold and then pick that 16 high E 17 pull 16 And then 19 pull 16. 17 pull 16. So it's 20 B. I love that. Dang it. Okay, after that, up on 16 E. And then 21 with the pinky. So. That's going to pull off to 16. So. You may want to. Um, that go third finger there because we need the pinky up here, right? So. Alright, after that pull off, you're gonna go 19 pull 16. And then um, 19 on the B, 16 on the E. Down up, 19 B, bend, hold, release. 17 hammer, 19, 17 vibrato. Got a complete rhythm, different rhythm behind that. Two minutes, ten seconds in. We're gonna go 15 on the B, 
Um, pick hammer 17, pull 15, slide 14. 15, pull 14, slide 12. So. Um, from there, 15G, 12B. That's down up. So.